What is up everyone? This is Orkin090 and we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rooms for the Pirates vs Ninja event or the Pirates vs Ninja room which is actually properly named and properly themed within this event. It's an event within an event. What we have here is season 22 room 8 out of 10. So let's see what we have here. But we do have some honorable mentions, one of them being Turner Disc or Tuber Central, ranked 58th place with 716 votes. Well, it looks like there's a little bit of a battle going on here. That we have the dojo with a lot of treasure right there, the ninjas preparing for defense, and we have even Nobus helping out with the sidelines here. Then we have Captain Blackbeard with the ship on hand and with the cannons firing off to the dojo. There are so many things going on with this battle here. Just look at that. Captain Blackbeard just wants even more treasure. Very, very creative here. And we even have a blood moon right there. Looks like there's gonna be some blood shed tonight. And then in 23rd place, with 1016 votes, we have Hun Spinosaurus. And looks like we have a good battle going on here. We have ourselves a Shaolin Monks, we have uh, the other ninjas right here. Then we also have a ship, a handmade ship as that, with a Kraken in the middle? Whoa, it looks like either that is going to be an ally or an actual nemesis with the pirates. But we also have Gilly right there, minding its own business. But Gilly's going to get caught in a crossfire here, along with Naza and also Zell. But what is this? It looks like that we have Prisma Nobu here too. Hopefully the little guy doesn't get hurt in this battle. But who knows, maybe this is all just a misunderstanding here. Then we have Dodgy Dave, just 7 points or 7 votes away from becoming in the 10th place, but you are at 11th place with 1,353 votes. I just love the perspective aspect, just everything about perspective really makes a lot for a good battle or for a good story within a room too. Then we have the ninjas right there, including Nobu's here, look at that, we have Nobu's here. Looks like it's more of an actual perspective too when you think about it, because then we have the beach and then we also have ourselves the ships from Craniac and also Mount Fuji from Craniac. Again, I just absolutely love perspective of how it actually works so well, especially with how this room is designed. And now on to the top 10, with 10th place with 1,360 votes, we have Danelli. And it looks like there's going to be a fierce battle going on. Some cannonballs have already been fired off because we have some fire all the way around. We have a ninja in the sky. Okay. They have mystical powers, but looks like we have ourselves defending ninjas right here, and also we have ourselves a handmade pirate ship, just ready to be on board with Captain Blackbeard at the helm. And just to point out real quick, I know that ninja is also the plural form, but I'm so used to saying ninjas, so I'm just gonna be saying that by accident or even by the fact that it's just a force of habit at this point. But I'll do my best just to say ninja. Coming in in 9th place with 1,378 votes, we have Merrick's 1103. And it looks like we have a half and half room. For the first side or the left side, we have a lot of pirates. We have pirate ships right there, we have prisoners, we have ourselves cannons and Captain Blackbeard right along with the treasure. Then on to the right side, we have the ninjas right here. Just pretty much just going about their day, just doing some training or something along the lines of that. They're just outside along with the dojo. And at least we have Nobu and as well as Prisma Nobu here. Nobu's behind the little lantern right there too. Coming in in 8th place with 1,386 votes, we have just a home slice. And we have ourselves another half and half room, with the left half being the pirates right there. There's Captain Blackbeard with some cannons firing off at the Krakens to defend his ship. But onto the right side, we have ourselves some more training with the dojo here. Nice use of using multiple pixel blocks just to elevate some of the ninja while the other ones are at a lower level. Just a different type of deft perception here. Coming in in 7th place with 1,388 votes, we have Malinara. And we have another half and half room right here that we have the pirate side with some treasure and the treasure chest campfire. We have everyone just chilling right there. Then onto the right side, looks like we have ourselves some more training ground right there. Just we have everyone outside of the garden. There's a dojo right there, a ninja climbing on the vines, and as well as that, we have a gate right there too. Coming in in sixth place with 1,404 votes, we have Lake K Oscar. And what we have here is another half and half room, 
with the left side being ninjas right here that we have the dojo we have ourselves everyone in the garden type of deal we have the ninjas standing on top of the bushes too with precise form and elegant grace and then we have two ninjas up in the sky too again they are mythical at this point then on to the right side, we have ourselves a Kraken attacking a ship with Nessie on the side. Nessie, will you do anything to stop the Kraken from attacking? And we're breaking the laws of physics because we have a mermaid along with the fish just above the sea level. Which I could understand the mermaid, but the fish? Look at that, we have the fish above the sea level. Now that's out nevertheless. Or maybe that the ship has already sunken. Who knows how this goes? Coming in in 5th place with 1,412 votes, we have It's Jasper X. Now back to the battling that we have ourselves the ninjas right here. That looks like we have a cannonball. Nice use of using a bowling ball as a cannonball because what else can you actually do with that? But looks like we already have a broken down wall and the pirates are just ready to attack and try to get anything that the ninja has to offer. Coming in in 4th place with 1,429 votes, we have a Zio 3000. And we have a half and half room at that. On the left side, we have ourselves a pirate, and then we have Nami in the water, isn't that cute? We have some treasure on the side, we have a seagull, we have mimic, we have cannons, ready to fire off. Now isn't that pretty cool? I like the use of the bomb right there just to add the spark to the cannon. Now that's very creative. Then onto the right side, it looks like we have ninjas right there, just ready to train, ready to battle, however you want to do about that, we have some pixelings in the background too. We have Kuro the Go, Shadow the Shadow Pixeling. What more can you say about Shadow? Shadow's still adorable no matter how you look at him. Then we also have Pix. I think Pix is kind of like a Reaper type of deal, but it's an adorable one that's friendly too. But I just noticed that there's a mythical ninja right there on the other on the pirate side. Maybe there's gonna be an ambush of some sort. But congratulations to the top 10, and now we're on to the top three with third place being at 1,494 votes. We have Soul Rider. And now we have a battle between the pirates and ninja. Looks like we are ambush attack if the sponsor eagle will not really hide the suspense from us but looks like what we have here is a ninja on the wall getting ready to ambush the pirates because the pirates already had ambushed the ninjas here nice use of using the great wall of china from the wonders pack just for the wall itself and then we have the pixeling blocks or the pixel blocks to represent the wall crashing down from the cannonball here but they are ready to defend and as well as we have more ninja right there in the corner probably gonna take out the captain too but just to point out i really like the use of the placement of one of the pirates to hide the broken monitor now that's pretty cool coming in in second place with 1510 votes we have doizilla and looks like we have a creative half and half room i say that because there's a river in between Instead of lasers, we have a river, we have a skull in the middle, we have ourselves a mermaid right there, we also have the Moai statue from the World's Wonder Pack. Not to mention the Stonehenge too, now that is a good way to make yourself a type of gate. And I just like the little easter egg that we have ourselves the hole in the wall. I don't exactly know what it is called when it's an actual human hole in a wall, but mainly that's one of the cartoon references you would see often. Maybe they don't even do that nowadays. But on to the left side, we have the pirates. We also have a prisoner up there. We have the barrels as well. I like the fact that we have animated barrels too. Now, isn't that cool? But it looks like they have a cursed skeleton on their side. So they have a force to be reckoned with. So there's Captain Blackbeard getting ready for battle. Then on to the right side, we have ourselves the ninjas ready to prepare for defense against the pirates here. Now, isn't that pretty cool too? And last but certainly not least, with 1,195 votes in first place, we have Garnara. And what we have here, it is a half a half room. Just look at that, we have the treasure, we have the mermaid, we also have a prisoner of war right there, or battle, or maybe the person that does, does all the work on the ship. But we have ourselves, Blackbeard, ready to go on to the other side, and we have ourselves the ninjas here. And we have yet another mythical ninja here too, just on the sky as well. I just like the use of the water fountain or the waterfall with the river along with the swan here. Oh, just so peaceful within this ninja area here. 
congratulations in being first place in the Pirates vs Ninja room event within the Pirates Ninja event. So these are the top 10 rooms of the Pirates vs Ninja event within the Pirates vs Ninja event. Let us know in the comment section below which out of the top 10 is your favorite and why. Leave down thoughts and your opinions about each room and which one is your favorite about the concept, the design, the use of the items. Just let us know in the comment section below because they may be looking at the comments after watching this video and it would make their day. All their hard work has been, hard work has been paid off that they are in the top 10 rooms. So congratulations to the top 3, the top 10, and especially the top 100. And if you want to see a montage of the top 100, then be sure to check out Super Central's channel, link is in the description and as well as an annotation at the end of this video. And the next room event will be the Tavern Room Event, so let's go ahead and see what that will hold within the next episode. But until then, this is going to be the end of this episode, so if you enjoyed this video and want to continue to support my channel, then be sure to give this video a like, and if you're brand new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, then be sure to subscribe to future videos, content, and live streams. Feel free to leave down your PewDiePie to same with their username and as well as the network you are in in the comment section. Have more gifts, have more people join your network and have more fun playing the game every single day as they're going to continue to update this game every month. But until then, I've been SorkKings090. Have a great day everyone and then as always, I'll see you guys next time in a new video or live stream.